Good morning, Year 3, and welcome to your Maths, le maths Lesson Gracious on Thursday, the 21st of January. Today, we're going to be building on what you did yesterday, which was using the part whole models to help explain what happens when we are adding and subtracting multiples of 100, 10, and 1. So today, we're going to be just continuing our mental maths method methods. Oh my goodness me, our mental maths methods. It's a tongue twister. And using all of those to be so quick with our adding and subtracting. Now, similar to yesterday, let's get our brains warmed up by partitioning this number. I would like you to please partition the number 623. Pause the video, jot it down, and just shout it out now. Go. All right, have you done it? So let's see, 623 can be partitioned into 600 or 620 and 3. Does your answer match mine? Did you choose a fancier way? I wonder if some of you did choose the easiest or simplest route. And some of you might have said 600, 10, and 13. I'm wondering which way you've done. Any way that you've partitioned it that makes sense is fine. So let's move along. Now, to make it a little bit simpler today, I have color coded our numbers purple for the hundreds, green for the tens, and orange for the ones. And that's just to kind of help me see where it is that I will be adding on to or subtracting from, okay? So this is similar to what we were doing yesterday. 412 add 100. Now in my part whole model, I would be just looking at the hundreds area, hundreds parts from my part and whole model. So I know that I need to add the 100 to the 400. But now when I'm writing my answer today, I am going to just use one color to keep it simple. I'm actually going to always start by writing in the far right hand column and that's just good practice as I get a little bit further on when we're doing more formal methods. So 412 add 100. Now I know my ones column isn't going to change. I know my tens column hasn't changed because there isn't anything in my ones column or my tens column for that what I'm adding on. However now I've got 100 add 400s. 1 add 4 is 5. So 400s add 100s is 500. There we go. Similar method here, looking straight away. I don't have anything in my tens or hundreds column. So my tens or ones column, gracious me. So I've got two ones still from here, one ten still. And now I need to add two hundreds to four hundreds. Two add four is six. So two hundreds add four hundreds is six hundred. There we go. One last one. And again, still following that pattern. I don't have any change to my ones. I don't have any change to my tens. But I'm adding 500s to 400s, which gives me 900. All right, one down for moving on. Now it's very clear I'm looking at my tens column. So here we are, I'm adding on 110 to 110, but I've got nothing in my ones column, so I will leave my ones as they are. 110 add 110 is two tens. And I haven't added anything to change in my hundreds column, so that remains as a four. Again, here we are, nothing in the ones to worry about. That stays as it is. I'm adding two tens to three tens. There we go. And I haven't changed anything for my hundreds, so that stays as it is. I'm wondering, okay, can you figure out what the next answer should be before I write it? I'll race you. You already called it out. You beat me already. Four hundred and sixty-two. Did you get it right? Did I? Brilliant. Let's move on. And now we'll look at our ones. Now again, we're going to do our ones first. We'll always start on the right-hand column. Two add one. Oh, how quick were you? Year three. It's a three there. Nothing changed in my tens, and nothing changed in my hundreds. Two add two. Oh gosh, you're fast. There we go. Four hundred and fourteen. And then two add five gives us. Ooh, two and five makes seven and 110 and 400. So again, I'm just worrying about the column. I see it with, I'm adding on multiples of 10, one or 100. Let's try the subtraction now. Same idea with that color coding. So we can see that we have six, sorry, 876 subtract 100. Now again, I'll go with my ones column first. I'm taking away zero ones, six ones take away zero ones, gives me six ones. Seven tens take away zero tens, gives me seven tens. Eight hundreds take away one hundred, gives me seven hundred. Same thing here. 
I'll start off in the right hand column. Six take away nothing, still six. Seven tens take away no tens, it's still seven. Now we've got eight, subtract three. If I get stuck on the subtraction, sometimes that trick that is tricky. You can use not anything you have around the house. I love beans for activities like this or peas. You can also use your fingers here, but eight fingers take three away. I am left with five, 576. One last one here, 876 subtract 600. Six ones take away no ones, still gives me six ones. Seven tens take away no tens, still gives me seven tens. Eight subtract six, I know that one, it is two. 876 take away 600, it's 276. Are you starting to see the pattern of what stays the same and what has to change? Let's move on. 876 subtract 10. Again, starting in that right hand column, six ones take away zero ones, it's still going to give me six ones. But now I've got seven tens take away one ten. Seven tens take away one ten gives me six tens. And I've not changed my hundreds. That's a wonky looking six, Mrs. Murphy. I've got no change in my hundreds, so that remains the same. 876 take away 30. Again, no change in my ones because there's a zero in my ones column there. Seven tens take away three tens. Seven take away three gives me four. And eight take away eight hundreds take away no hundreds means I still have eight hundreds. Eight hundred and forty-six. Right, here we go. Last one for our tens. Again, always starting in this right hand column. Six ones take away no ones still gives me six ones. And in my head, I know seven take away six, boom, is one. And eight hundreds take away no hundreds leaves me with eight hundreds. 816. Again, looking at this pattern, what stays the same, what stay, what is different, and what changes just depends on what we are working in. Those are the ones that are staying the same this time. Have you noticed what is different? Okay, moving along, right, we're just taking away in ones now, our multiples of one, 876 subtract one, well, we'll do six take away one to start us off, six take away one gives us Five, we've taken away no tens and we've taken away no hundreds. That's one we can do in our head. 876 take away three. Six take away three. Quickly, that is half of six, leaves us with three. No tens and no hundreds. And then 876, six take away six. If I have six fingers, I take six fingers away. I'm left with no sixes. So no fingers, rather, pardon me. So that means I have a zero in my ones column but I've had no change in my tens or in my hundreds. So there you are. Look at all those mental maths you've done in your head. Were you quicker than me on any of them with this mouse? The last challenge, oh, before I continue on, those are very similar to the questions you have in your worksheets today. So it will be the idea of finding those patterns, really making sure you're looking in the right columns. And I encourage you to start on the right-hand side in your ones place when you're writing out your answers. It just kind of gets us into a good habit of always starting on the right hand column. All right, here we go. There's a lot of colors here. 263 is equal to, is the same as 200 add 63. That's just another way of partitioning, isn't it? The way of splitting up this whole of 263 into 200 and to 63. You have questions similar to this at the bottom of your worksheet. So now it's asking you, 263 is equal to, is the, or is the same as, 210 add something. Right, I need to start off with what I'm missing. So I can see right away I'm missing some ones. I've got zero ones here. I need to get to three ones. Zero add what equals three? <sighs> but you beat me to it. If I start with zero, add on three, that will give me to three. So I know in my ones column here, I need a three. So already that's now going to follow the rules. Think of this as a part whole model. This is just like having 263 here. And on one side is 210. Terrible quick writing here. And in one side is a question mark. We're just finding out what that question mark is. Let's find out what we know. So I know I've got my 200s already balanced. I'm happy with that. But now my tens, I've only got one 10 so far and I need to get the six tens. So I'm going to have to add on five tens. One add five would give me my six tens. Let's just double check that that works. 210 add 53. 
So I would have add the three, that's two, that's the three there. Five add one gives me the six, and two add nothing gives me the two. I'm happy with that one. I can give myself a tick. Should we do bright blue? A bright blue tick. All right, another one to try out now. 263 is equal to something add 13. So again, I have this 263 number, and I do have some information from the top that I can use to help me if I get stuck, but I just know I've only got 13 on one side now. So 63 and 13 have something the same. What do they have the same as? If you called out ones, you're absolutely right. The ones are the same. So I've already sorted out my ones column. So my ones will be zero. They're not going to change. Now here we've got that one again. Hey, I saw that above here. I know for certain that I need to add one and five to make six. So now my six is taken care of. Now what is missing? Just my hundreds. So how many hundreds do I need? Two hundreds. There we go. 263 is equal to, it's the same as 250 add 13. Look at all these clever ways we can move our numbers around, change things. This is going to make you such fantastic mathematicians, math whizzes. The more ways we can play with numbers and change these things around, the better your maths knowledge is going to be. Shall we do one more? 263 is equal to something add 40. Ooh, okay. Let's see, is this one going to trick us or are we going to be too clever for it? Put it back into our part whole model there, just in case. So I've got 40 is one part. And I need to find out this missing part. So let's look at our ones first. I've got zero ones here and 40. But I need to get to three ones. So what am I going to put here? Just that three. Put that back in. Now I've used up four tens. I need to get to six tens. Four add what is going to give me six? Hmm. Can double check on my fingers. Use some beads anything I want, but I know four add two is six. So I'm happy so far. Now, have I dealt with my hundreds yet? Have I got my two hundreds? I haven't. So what needs to go here? There we go. 263 is equal to, is the same as 223 add 40. Look at all these brilliant ways we've played with the numbers. I wonder if you can think of any more ways we could have split it up. You have some questions similar to this at the bottom of your worksheet. They might be tricky, but don't give up. Follow the same method we have the whole time. I know you can do it, Year 3. I'm really proud of you. Keep up the excellent work and take care.